Hello. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the stop limit order. The stop limit order can be used as a protective order with certain limitations that will be explained later. Yet we usually use it to enter a conditional trade. Now we'll learn how to use a conditional order for the future purchase of a stock. Suppose I want to buy Apple stocks only when it rises above a certain price. I see a good entry opportunity for the stock at a price of one hundred and nine dollars and ten cents. This is the stop price. If the stock will reach this price, I want the buy order to be activated automatically. If the buy order is activated, I'd be willing to pay a maximum price of one hundred and nine dollars and fifteen cents for the stock. This is the limit price. I'll select the stop limit order. In the stop price window, I'll enter the buy order activation price. If the stock reaches this price, an automatic limit order will be activated to buy the stock. In the limit price window, I'll type in the limit price. Note that the limit price must be higher than the stop price. If the stop order for buying is activated, the execution will be limited to the limit price. I'll select the number of stocks. The order will be confirmed when I click on the buy button. I click the button, and the order is registered. The order will be executed only if the stock price reaches the stop price that I set. I can cancel the order using the X button. Now we'll learn how to use the stop limit order as a protective order. Earlier, I executed a trade. You can see that I'm holding 200 Twitter stocks. Note the price at which I purchased the stock. Let's look at the chart. This is the buy price. I hope the stock price will rise. However, if the price will drop, this is the point at which I want to enter the protection stop limit order. I'll enter the Twitter symbol in the trading window, and then press Enter. You can see the trading information is loaded into the trading window. Now I'll enter the amount of stocks that I want to protect. I can enter the number or simply click the P position button, and then the entire amount I'm holding will be loaded. I'll select the stop limit order. In the stop price window, I'll enter the protection price, and in the limit price window, I'll enter the limit price. Note that the limit price is several cents lower than the stop price. The order will be registered when I press the sell button. I press the button, and the order is registered. The stop limit order will be activated if the stock price will drop to the stop price. Yet the sell order will have a limit. In other words, the lowest price that I'm willing to accept is the limit price. The stop limit order is a very risky order, and therefore most traders use the regular stop order. The danger in a stop limit order is that the price will drop quickly, and therefore there will not be enough time to execute the protection order between the stop and the limit. In other words, it is possible that the protection order will not be executed at all. Therefore, we will set most of the protection orders using a regular stop order, which means execution of the transaction in any condition at the market price. Thanks for watching.